So hi guys, uh, this video is for Bucks Writer. So my name is Anurag Kumar Singh and I'm also from India. I have been using Linux for around three and a half year. I started using Linux with Raspberry Pi, then got Fedora as my desktop, so desktop uh, operating system. So Fedora was my first distro. You can see that desktop distro. And then I switched to Pop OS and finally I'm on Arch Linux. So this is my Arch Linux setup with DWM. Okay, so before showing you anything else, uh, let me show you the wallpaper, which is, I guess, one of the most important thing in Linux, uh, Nix configs. So I'm not, I don't, I'm not into animes and this is not an anime uh, wallpaper. As you can see, it's a, a wallpaper from a game called Chris I love this game this is one of the most beautiful game I have ever played you can try it out also so let's get into my setup so I'll quickly open up my uh, terminal which is kitty some of you might not like kitty because of the bloat but I love it so yeah open my, let me open up my kitty and then I'll increase a font a little bit so yep font and then run the new fetch again okay just a second clear new fetch so yeah so this is my terminal uh i'm using uh i'm using a zsh as my uh shell and then power 10k b10k you might know that so this is power 10k so first uh i'll just i quickly show you my uh, z z shell config so zrc which is alias to okay so zshrc so this is my zsh rc it's a pretty normal casual setup i don't have much so i'm using power 10k over here and then editor as my neo neovim and then uh, i'm using three plugins so get uh, zsh auto suggestions and zsh syntax highlighting just three these three plugins and then uh, i use a lot of aliases so uh, i have a lot of aliases i use it a lot so these are all my aliases and pretty much that's it uh, so um updating the path over here some power 10k stuff kitty and fzf and yeah auto jump i use auto jump also i love it i love auto jump so this was my uh zsh rc a uh, lot of aliases pretty much normal or uh, default okay i'll quit and then let's start uh, I'll show you my scripts. So I'm not very good at scripting, but I have written some scripts and I like a lot of them. So I'll go to my scripts. So, yep. So I have uh, these five scripts. So I'll quickly show you from one by one. So first I have audio.sh. Uh, this script is just to switch my audio output. So I have a speaker and a headphone. So this script, uh, using this script, I can toggle between them. Okay, very quickly. So uh, I'll just bat it out, bat audio. Okay, so here you can mm -hmm. see that uh, this is these are two of my devices. Uh, this is my speaker. This is my headphone, and here I'm just toggling it. Okay, toggling between uh, speaker and the headphone. And for for toggling, actually I have binded this script to a key using a, in the DWM config. So yep, this is how I switch between the uh, audio output. So the second is colorpick.sh so this was a fun, fun script so uh, this script is to like uh, get the hex value of any pixel on the window the uh, rgb hex value so you can use it a lot for like development purpose so i'll just bat it out also bad color pick so it's a pretty casual one i'm using uh, some yeah color picker so it's a program okay so it's a program i'm using this uh, to get the hex value and i'm actually uh, paste like pasting that uh, copying that hex value to clipboard using xclip okay and i'm pushing in a notification so i'll just uh, show you and run it so color pick dot sh and i'll pick let's say this yellow one okay so here you can see you get a uh, notification that the color is copied and then you can even paste it over here so yeah that's that was it so you can paste it over here anything okay 
so that was color pick and then i'll show you the third con third script which is record asset so i was writing the script to record screen using ffmpeg it's not completed yet it's it's kind of broken right now so i'm working on that uh, as a complete uh yeah I'll, I'll i'll complete it some someday okay and then the fourth script i have i'll just quickly show you the record script also so just a sec bad record dot sh so this is the script i have uh it's it's not completed yet i have i have to still have to complete it so the upload dot sh so yeah uh upload dot it's it's one of the one of the most favorite script i have ever written myself so i use this script to upload file to uh a 0x0 server okay so uh, uh the thing is uh, the upload script uh it has two parts so first is the first part is to upload that file to the a 0x0 server get the link and then copy that link to clipboard show you a notification and then log it okay it will log all the urls in a file in okay i'll show you i'll show you so let me just uh upload so i'll just run upload you upload upload.sh tag you to upload and a file so i'll upload this icon file so icon.png enter so it's executing this command this was the url and it's uploaded and you can see you get a you get a notification that the file is uploaded and i can actually show you that so i opened up brace a uh, brief and then the 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 url which was copied to the clipboard and then yeah you can see i can actually upload some other file also so i'll run upload and then i'll select let's say record.sh so i'll hit enter boom it's uploaded upload it to and copy to clipboard and then here i can just paste it and hit enter and you get the script so yep that, that was the first part so this was to record uh, uh, upload that file to the server and the second part is to log so actually i log every single url so if i run audio.sh tag l it will show you all the files which you have uploaded so far to 0x0 and then you get the time like when you have uploaded name of the file and the url of the file okay so these this logs all of them so if i go and get the link of let's say probably this one okay you can just copy it and then just open it okay so yeah that, that's what was my photo okay so yeah that was my upload script and it works really good okay and the last one is my walkon.sh it's a it's a pretty small thing uh walkon.sh so i have a walkon tablet uh like a writing tablet or a drawing tablet you can see and i'm using it to map the tablet to either two monitors so i have one two monitors so i can you can fix this i can map the tablet to either of the two monitors okay just ignore this one so these were the scripts i have so far and then i'll quickly show you the other thing so let's uh, uh i'll show you my dwm okay so i'll go to dwm my dwm config my dwm okay i'll open up my config file i'm using jetbrains for my font and then these are some of the com these are some of the commands i have binded to my keyboard uh brave to open up brave this is these are for the volume up down plus minus and mute toggle and then i have strict commands for spot control spotify so it will strictly uh, trigger spotify like play pause next uh, previous so this is for spotify and this is these command is for like uh, controlling the media like uh, next previous and excluding spotify so it will it will trigger any other so let's say uh, like i want to control only spotify i can i i'll use this one okay and if i want to control media output any other than spotify let's say it can be vlc mpv or brave uh, i can use this one so i have mapped i have mapping for both of them differently and this is the kitty to open kitty audio dot audio so yeah 
so i have binded that audio.sh file to a key so you just a press of key i can switch the audio output okay color pick and then code code for v opening vs code i sometime open up uh, open vs code okay and a screenshot yeah it's a, it's a complete script to get the screenshot i have i have done a, a, a lot of stuff here so first i'm creating a variable okay variable as the date time dot png into a directory called picks in home directory so i'm just creating a variable of that of the path to the file and then i'm capturing the screenshot using a program called mame i'm not sure how it's pronounced so i'm capturing it to the highest quality and storing it to that variable so the file name i have created over here i'm storing to that and then i'm actually copying that uh I'm copying that uh, image to the clipboard using xclip okay I'm copying that to the clipboard using xclip and then again I'm uh, like showing you a notification okay I'm uh, like a no uh, screenshot captured and the for icon I'm using that uh, uh, the screenshot so I'll just show you so I'll I'll click on print screen button and I get this plus and I'll just uh, let's just select these this much and then screenshot captured so here you can see the screenshot capture and the screenshot you have just captured as the icon of the notification i'll do it here again okay now here you can see screenshot captured so this was a short script uh, i know it might be too much for some of you and just here i've just uh, def defined the bindings for each of them um, you can just go through them and that was pretty much it for dwm config and for patches uh i have like how many one two three four five six seven eight eight patches so the first patches focus on click so uh you might know the default default behavior of dwm is that it will focus on the window which you like uh, if you hover over the hover, hover over the mouse on that window it will focus on that and i don't like it I want to focus on window when I click it. So this is for that. No title. So by default, uh, DWM show you the title over here, the the like the title of the window, and I don't want that either. So no title. Per tag. So by default, a like if you change the uh, layout in one tag, it will change the layout for all the tags. Okay, and I don't want that. So let's say you can see here I'm the tiling tiling layout. And then here I can sit set it to floating and here I can say that to M1 I'm not sure what's called M the full screen one so I can have different layouts and different tags so this is for power tag for that static status so here you can see the my static status bar okay so by default uh, DWM shows the status bar in all of the monitor okay but I don't want it I want to see the status bar in only single monitor in my primary monitor this is for that status color so by default again status uh, status uh, the status bar doesn't support color to add support color you have to use this patch and the thing about the patch is that the default uh, patch you get on the dwm website is somewhat broken like uh, the thing is uh, if uh, like the color patch works fine but as soon as you I add these icons, these nerd font icons, uh, stuff start to break. Okay, so for that, uh, I have added a fix patch to the color status. I got this fix on Reddit. Okay, so this was a little fix to that and status padding. So add padding to the status bar. That's it. So that was pretty much it for my DWM config. Mm, that's it and then the last thing i'll show you is my dwm bar so the status bar so for status bar in the dwm uh i'm using a project called a dwm bar dwm bar github i'll just open it so this is the project which i'm using uh, this is the project which i'm using for the status bar so it's a modular okay it's a modular status bar which means you can add your own modules which i have done so these are some default uh, modules and i have added my own modules to it so let's say uh, the default modules were like this a cpu usage one ram usage cpu temp uh, gpu temp time and date and i have added my own uh, modules or updated like this this thing so uh, by default it was just showing you the volume 
but uh in my uh i have updated so that you it first uh, like here you can see it's a uh headphone icon means the audio output is headphone and if i change my audio output to speaker using f8 button so if i click on f8 so uh it's currently on mute so here so i have switched my audio output to speaker so you can see that it's a speaker icon means it's uh, my audio output device is speaker and then another thing i have added it's the mute thing so yeah, it will show you mute okay not this one mute so yeah mute unmute okay and that's it this was this is the thing i added this is the miner okay so i do crypto mining i have a gpu for that okay so currently my miner is off and to it this is to uh, show me like whether the miner is working or not so currently my miner is not working like it's off and i can turn on the miner so as soon as I turn on the mine miner you can here you can see it uh, it gets green and a check mark means the miner is working i'll just quit the miner right now and it's cross so yeah that was a minor and then uh, this is the song okay so the currently the song playing on a spotify so i created this module myself uh to get this uh metadata for song i'm using player ctl i'll just show you the script how it works so j dwm bar okay i'll go to the modules and then i'll just bar i'll just neo vim and vim2 and went to song script okay so this is the script i'm using to get the information from okay by by the way the to show the thing here show the status bar uh, the project is using exit root i hope you know what is exit root so exit root and then uh, this is the script uh, i used for get the information for the song it's currently playing so like uh it's currently paused if i play it I'll... okay so the song is playing i can change the song okay and i can previous back to it and i'll pause it so yeah that, that was it so it was pretty much it uh for now uh i have uh, worked uh like i have a lot of stuff in my neovim config uh, which i can't show you right now because the video will get too long okay so it's already been 17 minutes so i'll probably show you my neovim config in some other video i'll just quickly show you the config i have so yeah so in it lua plugins uh lua plugins so these are all of my config for neovim i'll show you some in other video and yeah you can get all if you if you like my config and if you want some of my stuff from my config it's act it's it's all present in my github okay you can just get it uh like yeah it's in my github linux config setup so this is my github repository where i store all of my config you can get it from here if you like it okay so yep that was it thank you and bye bye